Hi, we are going to make a turkey today using the geometrics on the toolbar, but using another feature in Tinkercad called import and importing an object that we already created. The first thing we're going to do is go down to extras and pull the egg shape onto the work plane and rotate it 67.5. And because this is an egg shape, we know that we don't have a flat surface to print, and we need that. So we're going to go up to the geometrics and pull the cylinder on. We're going to take a look at it from this angle. And we're going to do two things. We're going to move it and resize it. That looks pretty good. And then we are going to move our egg shape down onto it and maybe extend a little bit farther out just to make sure we get a good base for our print. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we have our basic body and we want to keep looking at it from all angles and moving around to make sure we're moving it in the right way. We could also have taken the adjust and we could have aligned. And see, it already is aligned in the center, so we were pretty good. We don't want to align on this plane or this way because we're, we weren't looking for that. We were just looking for the center here. So we're just using this align tool and we're good. That looks pretty good. If you forget how to move around your work plane, remember that you can always hit the arrow and it'll give you the mouse strokes that help you move around your work plane. So let's go back over and like I said, we're going to use the import tool, which is over here on the right side of your toolbars. And you are going to choose a file. And you've already saved your file. You know where it is. And I know that my tail is on my desktop. I'm going to choose that and I'm going to import that. And it's going to import right in the middle of your work plane, which isn't hard, isn't a problem when you have a really big piece, because I can see it and I can move it. And it's not a big deal. I just highlight it and then I'm going to move it into position where I would like it. But you can see you again have to move to the front to make sure you're aligned the way you want to be. Move that over and I think I want to make my turkey tail a little bit taller. I think that looks great, but I want to check out the back to make sure I'm in there and looking good. I do want to move it a little bit farther back so it's closer to the back end of the turkey. I think that's great. So our tail and our body are looking good. I want to now add the wings. I want to choose a file. I'm going to choose my wing and I'm going to import. Now this is a smaller file, so we want to look to see where it went. And that's in a good place. I want to highlight it. I want to move it over. And when I, I want to rotate it so that it is going to be able to align. And it's just going to be easier to work from this angle. We're going to move it back and up. And I want to rotate it so it, it hangs out a little bit, but I know from printing that it can't hang out too much. So I'm just going to rotate a little bit in. And I think that looks good. There's two ways I can get another wing. I can import that again or I can just hit control D get a second wing move it to the other side and because it's going to be on the other side of the body I'm going to have to rotate it around and then I'm going to look at it from this angle and know because of my rotation I'm gonna to have to angle that or move that back in that is looking pretty good it, I like the way that looks and so I have a good body shape tail and wings and now I want to add a head. I'm going to drag over a cylinder to act as um, something for the head to rest on, so the neck basically. I'm going to resize it and I'm going to pull it into my turkey. And see, you can see sometimes I'm having some difficulties. I like, I was using my mouse strokes Sometimes it's harder, your mouse gets caught on something and it's not moving, so it's kind of better if you want more precision to use the your arrow keys. I find those easier to use, but it's quicker if you can get your mouse to act the way you want it to for the mouse to work. I'm going to move that back into the body, and then I'm going to move a sphere onto the work plane and have that work as the head of the turkey. And I don't want it to be perfectly round, so I'm going to 
resize, squish it down to the way I like it, look at it from all sides, realize that I think I've made his neck just a little bit too thick. So I can resize that all along your design process. You can resize at this point because we haven't grouped anything. So we or we could have ungrouped. You can also do that. So it's okay. So we're not grouped. We're moving around. We're looking good. But you have to then, if you move one piece, you have to move it off. I like the way that looks, but you may decide you would like your body to be, your head to be positioned differently. That's kind of up to you. Even though I don't like it off-centered, I'm going to move that. Okay, now I'm going to move the roof shape on and definitely resize, rotate, make a little bit smaller, and then I'm going to bring it into my turkey face. You have to keep looking from every angle, making sure you're getting it right where you want it, the way you want it. Okay, and I know that I'm okay with it be looking like this, but some people may want to add an eye shape, which is fine. We can drag it on. I'm just going to use a half sphere, and I'd like mine to be a whole shape not I don't want my eyes to extend out I want them to be designed in so I'm using a whole shape and I'm going to resize and then I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to rotate 90 degrees and then I'm going to bring it into my turkey face and realize much too big I'm going to resize And I don't want it to be a perfect round shape because I just don't think it needs to be. And so I'm going to move it in the way I like it. And then I'm going to hit Control D to create a second one and then move it over. And then you can play with this all you like, making sure you get... Um, exactly how you want it and that's pretty much what you want to do but once you get the face the way you like it you're going to want to take your whole shape you're going to want to highlight it and you're going to want to group it once it's grouped you can't redesign you see it looks like this and then you're going to get an idea of what your print is going to look like and I realize I should have done my wing a little bit better out there or this one a little bit more in. It's up to me. So there's no problem with that. You just ungroup and redesign. And then you can get both sides to look exactly the way you want them to. And you can change your grid so that you're moving out at different angles or different spacings. And it's up to you. And then again, before we print, we're going to group again and we're going to get ready to print. So that's ba the basics of the turkey. If you want to learn how to create the tail and create the feathers on your own, there are two other videos showing you how to do that. Uh, thanks again. You can find more information by visiting MPPL.org.